first out will be the team from Italy. So can the junior women match their senior women counterparts by winning the gold medal here? So Sweden first. Again, one recurve, one compound, and one bare bow shooter. Compound shooter just about lost her bow there. Representing Italy, per l'Italia, Sara Rex. We have a lot of Italians in the crowd today. I believe the Italian compound shooter will also be shooting for individual gold tomorrow. So that could be an advantage for her, having already been out here and shooting the targets. We'll see how this match goes. The Italian recurve shooter also is shooting for gold tomorrow. So this will be good practice for her, too. Target one, Italy shoots first. Italia inizia a tirare. We have our cross slope 40 meter target. Let's see how these juniors can handle these tough conditions. So the judge asks if they're ready, their sights are set, and they'll step up to the line to start. With, I believe Italy shooting first. See more discussion here with the coaches on what to shoot this for. So you see in the senior category a lot more, the archers making the decision. Here in the juniors, you see a lot of discussion with the coach. So low four to open up. And we see her teammate cranking her sight probably cut a little bit too much off that. And we'll watch, see if she cants her bow. She shoots it out the top. Also on the right side. So can their bare bow make up for that four and three? Shoot one in the yellow here. She steps up pretty confidently. Shoots a quick shot, and that looks like it's Another three. three. Ten, point. Ten, points Ten points for Italy on target number one. Now, as the sun sets, that will affect their sight marks as well, so how they adjust for that lighting conditions can play a factor. So a lot to think about in field archery. So unlike the other teams we've seen so far, Sweden leads off with their recurve shooter. It and matches three. her Italian yeah. counterpart with a three. So no adjustments by their compound shooter. Nice quick shot, and it might have caught the six. Five, four, even six. Five star, the judges are calling it, so we'll have to wait for official ruling. Sweden the lead. So see her lean back to keep that draw length consistent, and a solid four. So two point lead for Sweden after after target number one. See a little deep deep sigh there. Feel a little bit of breath of relief. Move on to target number two where Italy will go first since they are currently down in the match. I hear the 
crowds cheering for both teams. A little louder for Italy there. <laughs> Home field advantage never hurts. No, it does not. Let's see if they can use that to overcome their two point deficit. The wait as again the field crew will and the judges will score the arrows. They'll pull the arrows and then they'll reset the field for target number two. So it was a five. She did not get the six on that arrow, so it stays a two point difference. And as we've seen so far, two points is nothing on this course. Really, anything can happen with three targets to go. Both, we the, both the archers are making sure that they have stable footing. See this quite common. Being able to stand properly really helps you be able to execute your best sh shot possible. So we see she's shooting a thumb trigger, quick shot and right in the six. Seven. She'll be happy with that. There's a lot of confidence to your next two shooters when your first shooter opens up with just a dead center six. No hesitation, she put that right in there. Saw a little movement on the back and forth with the bow, and she was smart and put that, let it down, start over. We've seen the archers have plenty of time. Again, we see a little bit of side to side movement, but she shoots a five, so this could be a great target for them if their bear bow can put another a third good arrow in the middle. So they've already shot higher than they did on target number one with 11 points, with only 10 on target number one. Again, a very quick shot, and that looks like a two. <laughs> Not what she wanted to see, but that is good enough to beat the Italian women on this target in the gold belt match earlier today. On the right side. So the junior archers beating their senior counterparts. These will be the future senior team members. So great experience for them to be getting as juniors. So let's see what Sweden can do. Had a two point lead coming into this. Again, they lead off with their recurve. A three high left. Looks yeah, like a left. three. Let's we'll see if their compound can match. And She's five, top of the five. Eight points. So Before the bear they bow, need their bear bow to hit gold here to match Italy on this target. This is a 20 meter target to the bear bow shooters. Four. One point advantage. Italy picking up one point, but not enough to overtake the lead as we move on to the 15 meter bunny target, 10 meters for the bear bows. So again, Italy will shoot first on target number three. If you've noticed, Italy's recurve shooter has been, or Sweden's recurve shooter has been high on both of her arrows, so we'll see if she makes a correction moving into target number three. We see the flags of all the participating countries along the side there. Each team setting their sight. 
And again, this target is probably the easiest target out there in the finals venue. Let's see it, which team will capitalize on that. Checks her sight before drawing back. adjustments to her sight and it's now her turn to shoot. Four, just a little bit high. They'll move up with their bare bow shooter to the 10 meters. Again a good arrow here by the bare bow shooter is pretty important in terms of the match win overall. Quick shot. So there's no rule in what order you shoot each of the bulls on the target. Each team can make a decision based on what each archer's preference is. But if one archer were to put a second arrow into one of the targets, they would lose the higher scoring of the two. So Sweden just needs a 12 or better to keep their lead. We saw a nice shot by their recurve archer for a five. Oh, a six, five winer. See, they're calling it a six, so. With that, their bare bow just needs a one for them to maintain their lead going into the fourth and final target. Four. And that's more than a one, that's a four. So we now have a four point lead for Sweden going into the fourth and final target. But as we've seen, Anything can happen on that target. The girls seem pretty relaxed. They're pretty happy, but can they get this cut right? We saw before, Barbo are one for four on this target. And the recurves have only hit it three times. We've seen very few arrows in the yellow. Judge taking a look at that arrow just to make sure that was a six. So Italy's gonna maintain their position shooting first. We have a four point difference. Normally shooting first in target archery is good. You can set the uh, pace of the match, but shooting first in field can be a disadvantage as you don't get to see what the other your opponents do and learn from their from their errors. And they'll step up and we are into our fourth and final target. Again, this is a 60 meter, very steep angled slope. Let's see how these junior girls handle it. Check in her sight. You'll notice a lot of the compound archers out there are going to be using thumb trigger releases. At these angles, it can be very tough to activate a hinge release. So they'll have a little bit more confidence with the thumb. Five. Solid five, so much better than the start we've seen from some of the senior teams. Italy, if you remember, Italy scored two points in their gold medal match on this target. Both the recurve and the bare bow missing. A 
look how far she has at that point. That's the tough part with recurve on these steep uphills is getting through your clicker. See, she started a little bit higher that time. That's a two. So what is the bear bow? Can we get another bear bow archer to hit this target? Can we get a scoring arrow here? No. no. So left on that one. So we're one for five. So three points for Sweden to tie the match. Four points will give them a win. And that may not seem like much, but after watching this target for the first two matches. We know. <laughs> That's tougher than it sounds. Regardless of this match, Italian does have, the junior women have a little bragging rights over their seniors, being them by five points on this target. see how she does getting through the clicker. A little tough to see, but we see some. Oh. Ooh. So as we said, three points to tie, four to win. Three, three. We have a tie. Ooh. It all comes down to this bear bow. Can we get another bear bow archer to hit a scoring rate? It's been a long time since I've seen matches like this. Normally going into the final target you just need to hit would uh, take a lot of nerves off you, but this target, the nerves are still there. As we've seen, it's very difficult for the bear bows to hit this target. <laughs> and we are tied, it's a shoot off. Italy versus Sweden, both shoot a 42 to head to a shoot-off. Now to shoot off, each archer shoots one arrow. Each team will be scored, and if there's still a tie, it'll be the closest arrow to the center. We see the teams laughing because that's all you can do when when the scores are what we're seeing out there on this target. It is tough. Italian team is, seems especially happy because they only gave Sweden three points to work with. So they are very lucky, or at least they feel very lucky that they are still shooting this. So now you see them moving over. We are now using a target we have not seen used yet today. But it's a very similar angle to what the last shot was. They're going to shoot 35 meters for the compound and the recurve, and I believe 25 meters for the bare bow. So this will be shot on a 60 centimeter face. It will be a 45 meter target with a 40 for the bare bow. Forty-five meters is the max distance that uh, the sixty-centimeter face will be used for, and making it one of the harder targets to shoot. And especially on this angle, probably going to be one of the toughest shots today. So again, very similar angle to what they just saw on the larger 80 centimeter face. It's a slightly smaller face, but at a closer distance, similar angle. So let's see how they adjust from that last target that was trouble for a lot of the archers out there right now. We saw three misses amongst the six archers on the field on that final target. So we're waiting for the field crew to give the okay that everything's reset. And 
Italy will start the match, start the shoot off, because they were the team that started the match as the higher seeded team. So they will get to go first. Again, 45 meters for the compound and Rieger, 40 meters for the Barebow. Looking at this target, it seems that the footing will be worse than the 60 meter target as they're further up the hill. We remember she had the so the great five to give them the tie. Can she have a good first arrow here? And she does. Yes, another five. So that is clutch. That could be the difference in the match right there. Let's see what free curve shooter can do. Remember, she struggled with her clicker. So let's see what she does on this one. She has about the whole point to go. Let's see, she's struggling to get through, but she's pulling and lets down. So we'll see if she starts a little higher up with her arm this time, just like the last one. I can attest having shot my first field with a recurve, how difficult these uphill shots are to get through that clicker. So we had one the other day and she looks like a mm -hmm. two. On the mark day, we had a very steep quad target that was very, very difficult to get through when you don't have good footing and you're at an angle. So let's see, the barebow again has a more difficult angle than the recurve in the compound being further up the hill. Let's see if she can hit the target this time. And she does. For a one. So an eight, is an eight good enough to win this shoot off? And again, if the score is tied, it will be the closest arrow to the center. So that's why the five is a very important arrow for Italy. Sweet, see Sweet step up. Just like we've seen in the past. The recurve shooter starts off. She leans back before she even starts pulling to help with getting through the clicker. Three. Three. So that's a good arrow. That is one point better than the Italian recurver. Oh. Ooh. And that will clinch the that match. That is for the match. Sweden wins the shoot off. Oh, they're saying five star, so. But regardless. It oh. is closer to the center. Does not matter what the barebow shooter does here. Sweden has won against Italy. But knowing the barebow shooters, they probably want to. Her pride. Yep. Miss. And she hits She hits the bail, just doesn't hit a scoring rank. But eight like points to eight points again. Five. That five. That is just Please off the sixth line. I believe they're calling it a five. Is the closest or arrow on that target break. to the center, giving Sweden it's the win. They are your new world field junior team champions. So the compound archer from Sweden came through clutch in that match, and we see and the judge signal. The they have won. A well fought match by Italy. Congratulations to them on the silver. But the gold will go to Sweden. You can see how excited they really are. Again, they fought hard. This is a very tough course out there. Disappointment on the Italians, but nothing to be ashamed of. They battled all the way through and shot great 